Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to calculate the CPK for a uh, normal distribution using Minitab 16. So we have our data in column C1, it's a normal distribution data that we already um, tested with the normality test. Um, so we have 100 uh, numbers. So we're gonna do the CPK analysis. So we go to stat, we click on quality tools, and then we click on capability six pack, and then we click on normal because it's a normal distribution data. So uh, we want to, to analyze data in column C1. So we double click on it on subgroup size we're gonna put n one and then uh, the lower spec limit it's 3.2 and the upper spec limit is 4.7 for this data um, then we click on OK now we have the process capability results and the CPK value is uh, 2.05 which is right here um, usually the CPK value that is acceptable for most of the companies is 1.33 which is a Six Sigma value um, in this case the CPK is 2.05 which means the data is acceptable and it's um, not very likely that that these will go outside the lower spec limit or the upper spec limit in the future. So it's, it's acceptable and as we can see in our in our charts they, are, they, they look pretty normal. The behavior looks good. It doesn't look out of control which is good. So thank you for watching.